Hello and welcome to 3 Minute Gaming, I'm Nathan, and today I'm going to take up this game through time and bandwidth. Today's game is The Outer Worlds. I stopped playing Starfield to jump back to The Outer Worlds, Obsidian's immersive RPG that's part Fallout New Vegas and part something else. Does it hold up, and is it worth playing today? Let's find out. The Outer Worlds is an open zone, immersive sim-esque RPG from the crew who made the original Fallouts as well as Fallout New Vegas, with it aping more than a little from Bethesda's game design. You play as a cryo-frozen space worker sent to a corporate-owned system to work for your corpo masters, but something goes wrong and now your whole colony is stuck in cryo. A mad scientist wakes you and only you up, so now you're tasked with finding out how to free the rest of your homies and maybe stick it to a few evil corporations along the way. The world and its inhabitants are generally more interesting than the through line of the story, particularly as nearly every settlement you visit has its own complete plot arc to engage with. Outer world structure is broken down to several planets, which each contain some mid-sized zone to explore. These are structured somewhat like a Bethesda-style RPG, just on a much smaller scale, with tons of stuff to interact with and pick up, and a smattering of enemies on routes between more important areas, as well as hidden side stuff. The planets also often contain a truckload of side quests, either for individual characters or the factions that reside there, making the zones feel surprisingly dense when it comes to character interaction and things to do and explore. Quests are definitely where this game shines, as they often are multi-layered and have tons of ways to approach them. You could simply shoot your problems away, or you could maybe talk someone down, or even go exploring and find information that would change the course of the quest entirely. While not all quests are this deep, most at least strive to have multiple routes to get to their ending, meaning you'll have to make some tricky choices to complete them. As captain of a spaceship, you'll also be picking up crew, and these companions, which you can take two out at a time, provide not only back up but bolster your many abilities. Each character also has their own short string of quests to get to know them better, and they often chit chat or even butt into quest conversations with their opinions if they think they're relevant. Building your character is a core part of this game, with there being a ton of different stats, mostly non-combat related, to tinker with, along with gaining a powerful perk every two levels. Armor and weapons also can augment these stats, and gear can have upgrades glued to them as well, though honestly the game is so easy even on the hardest difficulty your investment in this may vary. And honestly that's the gist of Outer Worlds. I'd say it's kind of a more bite-sized Fallout New Vegas with its emphasis less on exploring, and it's instead on its character building quest and freedom of choice in approaching situations. So what do I like about the Outer Worlds? Well, the quest design here is really fantastic and there are so many of them and tons of them have multiple ways to approach them and many, many different outcomes that really make you feel like your particular character had a specific influence on this world in their own unique way. Interestingly, character building is a joy and how you build your character and who you bring with you significantly affects how you approach nearly every situation. And because quests are so well designed, you feel like you are genuinely role-playing when you say talk or sneak your way out of a situation rather than just blasting. And lastly, I enjoyed this game's aesthetic overall, with plenty of interesting world building, a near overload of humor and jokes, and the hypersaturated aesthetic making everything feel truly surreal. When it comes to the bad, I did find the writing overall to be a bit mixed. While I love sarcastic takes on corporate hell, Outer Worlds often feels a little too overt in its satire, and this trickles down to a lot of the characters being more caricatures than actual believable humans. Additionally, this game has really limited enemy types, which leads to combat getting pretty stale pretty quickly, and that's with the combat already being pretty mid to begin with. And lastly, while I appreciate this game having so many character building options, there are some that are clearly way better than others. Lockpick and Persuasion are so important they genuinely warp the game, while stuff like hacking is almost never used. Not all skills are created equally, but the game does nothing to guide you otherwise. As you know, our game's share on a three-point scale, must play, maybe consider, and don't bother. And while the Outer Worlds isn't perfect, it's still a damn good RPG top to bottom. The multi-layer quest and the many, many different approaches your character can take to conquer any situation feels rewarding and satisfying, and it's paired with some great sardonic humor in a ridiculous world. While it may not reach the heights of New Vegas, if you enjoy that game's RPG and world-building elements, you will love the Outer Worlds and it's absolutely still worth playing today. And that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you played The Outer Worlds, did you play this game when it came out? Did you play the Spacers Edition re-release? Please let me know in the comments, but regardless, make sure you go out there and give this game a look.